The Archbishop of San Francisco has informed Nancy Pelosi that her public support for abortion constitutes a grave and mortal sin, and therefore she is not to receive Holy Communion until she repents, confesses her sins, and receives absolution, as the church has taught consistently for 2,000 years. But the self-styled devout Catholic, Nancy Pelosi, has rejected her bishop's instruction, just as she has rejected other essential non-negotiable teachings of the church to which she allegedly belongs. Pelosi's behavior has left many people confused, which is why we are so fortunate to have noted theologian and doctor of the church, Whoopi Goldberg, to help clear up the finer points of Catholic theology. The abortion rights battle is starting to blur the lines between church and state. The Archbishop of San Francisco mm, is calling for Speaker Nancy Pelosi to be denied receiving communion because of her pro-choice stance. He's one of the priests who also called for President Biden to be denied sacrament. This is not your job, dude. <laughs> that is not, you can't, that is not up to you to make that decision. Okay, we have to stop right there. We will get to the rest of what she said, but well, we have to stop there because maybe Whoopi is confused or I don't know. That is literally his job. <laughs> that, 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 it is his job to make that decision. That is what a bishop is. That's what a bishop does. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg might not know that because she's not Catholic. Uh, no one is really sure what Whoopi Goldberg believes. She has said that she feels Jewish, uh, which would explain why she took a Jewish stage name, but she is, her name is not Goldberg. That's not the name she was born with. Her, I think it's Johnson. Uh, she's not Jewish. She doesn't practice Judaism. Nevertheless, nevertheless, she, she, a fake Jew, is now going on to pontificate on Catholic Eucharistic theology. What is the saying? It's kind of amazing. Uh, but, you know, what is the point of communion? Right? It's for uh, sinners. It's the, for, the, for sinners. It's the reward of saints, but the bread of sinners. How dare you? How dare you? That is, if Pope Francis says that that's the issue. Now, despite Whoopi's slam poetry, and regardless of the media's favorite one-liners from Pope Francis, that's not what the church teaches. The church teaches, and has always taught for 2,000 years, that before receiving Holy Communion, Catholics must confess our mortal sins, and we must repent and then confess, and then we can receive communion. Sometimes we sin, we don't make it to confession. On those Sundays, faithful Catholics choose not to receive communion because if we did, we would, in the words of St. Paul, be eating our own damnation. Now, listen, you might not believe any of that. You might not believe all of it. You might not believe any of it. Nancy Pelosi might not believe all that. Whoopi Goldberg might not believe all of that. Okay. No one is forcing these people to be Catholic. If, if they think that it's all a bunch of baloney, why are all these libs so insistent that Pelosi be allowed to receive communion in a state of unrepentant mortal sin? If they think that the church is wrong, and not just wrong, but wrong on essential teachings, unchangeable teachings, like the teaching on abortion, then why do they care so much about the Catholic sacraments? The answer is clear. Leftism is its own religion. Abortion is its sacrament. And the libs want their blasphemy blessed. I don't want to bore you with Catholic theology. I, I do have to correct what Whoopi Goldberg is saying, and I know that it's probably the biggest news story going on right now because you finally got pushback against the Speaker of the House of Representatives on this essential question of abortion, biggest topic in the country right now. But I don't want to bore you with Catholic theology if you're not interested in it, you don't have any desire to become Catholic or practice the faith or anything like that. So then why do all of these non-Catholics take such a big issue about it? Why? Why does Whoopi Goldberg care? Why does Pelosi care? Why does Joe Scarborough care? Joe Scarborough, very much not a Catholic, just took to his soapbox on MSNBC to excoriate the Catholic Church for enforcing its 2,000-year-old teachings. This past weekend, the San Francisco Archdiocese has banned Nancy Pelosi, who we're having on the show tomorrow, Speaker of the House, from receiving communion. Mm. She's a staunch Catholic, uh, but, but because of her stance on abortion, they've banned her. We'll be asking her about that, but this is, wow. this is where we're going at, with all of this. A lot of opportunities well, yeah, for know, the Democrats, you know, but a lot of challenges. 
Mika, the Catholic Church really, the priests in the Catholic Church really do have a lot of room to stand, to stand on their high horse and be self-righteous towards parishioners who have been faithful parishioners we'll for right decades, <laughs> who actually stayed with it through a, 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 a crisis where priests abused okay. uh, thousands and thousands of children and pass children around yeah. from one church to another church, from one diocese to another diocese. It went all the way up to the top, and they are being self-righteous and telling Nancy Pelosi that she can't take communion. They should thank God that Nancy Pelosi has remained a Catholic through their torrent of, 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 of the most grotesque sins imaginable. The, the Catholic Church should thank God that Nancy Pelosi, an unrepentant sinner who is flouting the essential teachings of the church, is violating the instructions of her bishop because of the sex scandal in the church, which obviously was real. But as studies have shown, sex abuse is no more prevalent in the Catholic Church than it is in any other religion. And it's certainly no more prevalent than it is in the secular leftist society. It's actually much less prevalent. Children are much, much, much more likely to be sexually abused by teachers in public school than they would be by a Catholic priest. The numbers are not even close. And furthermore, why does Joe care? Why is Joe getting so worked up about this? Why is he getting worked up about a bishop of a church that he does not believe in, enforcing the teachings of that church, the consistent 2,000-year-old teachings, on one of the parishioners, on one of the other uh, nominal members of the lay faithful, of, again, the church that Joe Scarborough does not belong to, of the faith that he does not believe in. Why, is he, why are all the libs so bizarrely obsessed with Nancy Pelosi being able to break the rules of the Catholic church and in such a way that will actually harm her mortal soul if the Catholic religion is true. This is the question for me with Pelosi. This, to me, I think dispels all of the media-contrived pity party for Nancy Pelosi here. Why does Pelosi so badly want to receive the communion in a state of unrepentant mortal sin? If, if the Catholic faith is true, then what the archbishop is doing is helping Nancy Pelosi. It is for her protection. And we know Nancy Pelosi just when she went to mass in DC on Sunday, she received Holy Communion in contravention of what the Bishop of San Francisco, her home, her home parish said. But if, if, if Nancy Pelosi does not believe in the Catholic faith, if she thinks the Catholic Church's teachings on abortion, which go back 2,000 years, which remain unchanged and, according to the catechism, unchangeable, you can never change it, then that means that Nancy Pelosi thinks that the faith is false. If Nancy Pelosi thinks the faith is false, why does she care about receiving the sacraments? She doesn't believe in the sacraments then. So what's it to her? If, on the other hand, she believes that the faith is true, then surely she should follow the faith and the faith is true on this unchangeable essential teaching on abortion, and she should repent because she's imperiling her soul. She should do what the bishop is telling her to do because the bishop is trying to help her. Maybe the Catholic faith is true or false. You know, I think it's true. Maybe Nancy Pelosi doesn't. Maybe you don't. Whether it's true or not, whether Nancy Pelosi's faith is sincere or insincere, the, the craziest thing about this whole controversy is that there is no circumstance, there is no combination of any of those things in which Pelosi's actions are justified. It's so, it, so I, I wondered to myself, why? Why is she so insistent? Why is Joe Scarborough? Why are Whoopi Goldberg? Why are they so outraged by this? It is because you're seeing a, a real conflict of religions here. Christianity versus leftism. And it's a battle between these two faiths, a battle between these two churches and, and what the libs are demanding, what the pro-abortion people are demanding, is that the Catholic faith surrender. And Christianity broadly, surrender. That's what they want. Abortion is the sacrament. As Peter Kreeft says, abortion even uses the same words as the Holy Communion. This is my body, except to a blasphemously opposite meaning. And what the libs are, the, the reason that all these non-Catholic liberal people heretics, schismatics, apostates, all these people, the reason they care so much is that they are insistent 
that their blasphemous sacrament of their unholy religion of leftism be blessed by the spiritual authority that's existed for 2,000 years. I'm glad you like that clip. Now, hold up. Don't go. You got to smash and ring and click and jab and poke. And anyway, you got to subscribe and that way you'll get the notifications. Also head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcast. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show. Leave a five-star review. Leave a 10-star review. We'll see you next time.